boxes, Mr. Gentleman. How well do you know your boxes, Mr. Fine Man? A Francia Camafo. How well do you know your boxes? Do you know your boxes even at all? Or you just wear it for convenience sake? Stay tuned, relax, and let me help you even as we break this issue to a beautiful one. This is La Baby Spotlight Show. If this is your first time, I mean your hostess, La Baby. You are welcome to a show that brings nothing but the best tunes and vibes to your way. Sit back and let's roll even as you bring light to the matters of interest from your various locations. Today we are talking about how well do you know your boxes. boxes <laughs> I guess you're thinking about it. As we did it for the ladies earlier, today I'll be focusing on the men because I want a fair share. You know, this show is not just for ladies, but both all and sanguine. So the guys, celebrate. Okay, um, today I'll be talking about the kinds of underpants available for men, the hygiene tips on how to keep these underpants and also how to know your best shape and fit as a gentleman yes and to start with there are four types of undergarments that men can put on yes i believe most of you thought it was just boxes when we say boxes boxes is throughout no there are four different types of underpants we have the boxes that's number one we have the briefs we have the boxer briefs and we have the trunks yes so this makes it four good types now the boxes let me explain it the boxes are the kind of um, loose undergarments that you guys normally put on yes you realize that they are loose they are sorry sorry freestyle free range they are loose and um although they are loose they also don't provide any support Okay, they are just one for the free range. And it gives more breathing ability. Yes, so you're able to breathe more in the boxes. And some believe it's comfortable. Well, you're a guy, so you will decide which one is comfortable for you. The next one, we have the briefs. You know, the briefs is um, fitting. Okay, and normally they are short. They are short, but they are very fitting. And they provide support to the super gun that is the kakumba or the um, male reproductive organ and we have the third type the boxer briefs yes you know that's the combination of the boxes and the briefs so if freestyle that is loose is meat and fitting you can imagine yes in siena duets boxer briefs okay so with the boxer briefs they also provide full support and a little bit of breathability you know the kokumba can breathe yes so that's the third type and we have the fourth type that's the last type we have the trunks the trunks are similar to the boxer briefs but they are shorter and square in shape yes square uh, see in a rectangle they are square in shape and um they might either be loose that means they can be loose or fitting it depends on the one you decide to get and they are often used to swing you know poolside the fine gentleman when you want to release your sex parts and go to the pool side that is what you have to put on that's the um, trunk so now we know the four types the breeze boxer breeze trunk and the boxes yeah. How often should we wear our underwear as a gentleman? How often should we wear underpants? Um, and why we whisper to me, day, ma'am, and put to me some boxes in three months. Can I move here and back? Where they are some beside. I hear some of the gentlemen don't wash their boxes regularly. You can prove me wrong by sharing your thoughts and submissions. Yes, but ideally, your boxes should be washed just like the ladies treat it. Okay, personal hygiene. No? It's not just for the ladies, it's for the gentlemen as well. So try and wash your boxes daily or weekly or however you choose it, but it should be often. Do not repeat your underpants or your boxes. And this I find your no bar. I brought your way you because and cannot. And you're not able to say your boxes don't smell good. So please 
creates that pleasant atmosphere by washing your boxes regularly and frequently. Do not repeat them. Also, change your underwear after sweating. Sometimes you don't have to wait for it to get dirty, okay? You make sure that when you get home and you feel that you have sweated in them, just change them so that that place will have a very, very pleasant smell. Also, the third point is that you should avoid tight underwears. In as much as the guys, some of you like fitting stuff, I beg you, the underwears, once in a while, then you wear the tight ones. But when you're in the house or sometimes you decide to go to work, you can go the freestyle one, okay? Let it be loose so that you don't worry the cucumber so much. And it's like, the cucumber may fail you at the point where you need it so much. The fourth point is dispose your old underwear. Don't wear your underwear from January to maybe January 2000 and nine or 2021 to maybe um 2023 or 2024 but then i brought your wife three years four years please change them when they free out change them when they are old underwear and now boxes and our breeze the boy not in the brain eh fine boy pan now i share and um underwear and our boxes are 82 years hmm prove that you're a gentleman let us see that you have class you don't always need to be sick and even understand why dress is good feel good by making sure that your underwears also speak right and also the fifth point is that sleep naked or wear boxes if you can when you're about to sleep you don't have to tighten the kokuma so much okay you can choose to sleep naked that's if you sleep alone if you sleep with your wife monta today this one is for protection we want to protect our future kokuma so mm, sorry, I know the we want to protect them so please sometimes sleep naked and studies have shown that when you sleep naked, it can improve the sperm quality. I bet some of you didn't know. No. The sperm, hmm. if you want to improve the quality, sometimes just sleep naked. According to the recent study, those who wore boxer shorts during the day and slept naked had notable lower levels of damaged DNA in their sperm compared to those who wore tight underpants during the day and at night. It may be because it allows the testicles to be cooler. You know, research conducted by WHO says that the survey they conducted with men who wear boxes during the day and in the night, they do free range. Their sperm quality is very much improved than those who wear it throughout the day. So please, save your sperm. Save the gun you'll be using in future or save the gun you already use by making sure that you do anti-bake at night you know protection is better than tomorrow's damage yeah number six clean and wash up properly after using the toilets mm. this one day i mean it's not here let me emphasize on this when you go to the washroom okay be it at work at home when you use the toilets okay make sure that after you have wiped the place very neatly or your um reproductive uh, male organ make sure that you clean it very well with a tissue wipes whatever it is but it shouldn't be perfume scented just like the ladies do don't make it perfume scented no clean it very well like so that when you put on your boxes back it doesn't transfer any kind of bacteria to your from your anus to your um reproductive organ so that you are safe and you don't take complications tomorrow or you don't find yourself wanting tomorrow you know so um this is what you can do to make sure that you're treating your underpants very well so we have learned that wear the best fit and your reproductive organ will be glad you did so this is where i'll be ending thank you so much for listening ah Remember to subscribe, like, share your thoughts, share to others, and remember the baby spotlight show. This is where the ish is. So stay tuned, relax, and enjoy our subsequent editions. See you and stay safe.